All right, everybody, I'm back. I'm going to make another tutorial. It's going to be really quick. I'm not going to waste your time. So the effect today we're going to be making looks like this. <laughs> anyway, you'd be surprised to know that this is actually just two events. That's it. All right, so first thing that you need is you need like a spline that looks like a knit pattern. Next, what you want to do is you want to use a birth spline. So I piped in the knit spline that I had into a birth spline. And then the next step was I used a spline path and I set it to siblings. And so what that did is it just splined my particles for me. If I deselect it, you can see that it's, it's there. Let me hide this knit spline. So this is the tie spline here. And then I just show the spline measure and boom made it next thing that you want to do I made a point you could use geometry you could use really whatever you wanted and I used an object test and set it to distance so let me turn this off let me show some particles here all right so what I did is in the birth spline I set it to interpolated knots so that just gives me a particle on each little vertice of the spline and then what I did is to get some nice somewhat decent physics effects I just put a particle physics collider on there and the one thing that I had to be sure of is to uh, ignore the starting penetrations because if you don't you get this weirdness where it just kind of starts to move erratically we don't want that so what I did is I set it to ignore the starting penetration and then that leaves it in the, its beginning place. Next what it did is I, I binded each particle so each one of these little guys is connected and I left all of this the same um, and I just set it to bind to siblings. I didn't do proximity bind. There. So now you can see I have them visible. Uh, the bindings visible here so you can see each one is connected to its uh, brother and sister or just brothers or just sisters I don't know what their family's like so next after that what I did is I took an object here I made a point and I used that as a distance didn't even animate it I just set it right here and I uh, I guess for this test I didn't even put any noise on it so Typically you would, you know, you could animate it or you could set a few different ones and you can, you know, play with the noise and get a lot of different things. But for this, I really kept it simple, left this here and I'm basically using the particle bind to bind these particles together. So they just follow the initial pull like that. Next, what I did from the object distance is... What I wanted to happen was these little particles right here are what drives the whole animation. So I wanted those to be um, acted on with a force. I did just a simple reverse gravity to pull it up and then added a curl noise. So that just gave it some variety. Uh, put a slow on it because it just makes things look a little nicer. It probably didn't do too much, but whatever, threw it on there. And I also did another particle collider so that the particles, once they go into this event, they... Um, they still have a little bit of interaction with one another. Uh, I just continued the spline path here and here. So at the end of it, when I turn this back on and I turn these guys off, let's see that. There we go. So what happens is, is these particles get applied, just the first ones get applied to that force. And then since the force is strong enough, it is just continually pulling them up and they just kind of follow suit after that so the next thing that I did to kind of give it that effect of oh that's cool it's coming together is I just simply reversed it so all I did is I went into this tie spline and then I enabled the retimer give it a second here there and so then I set the first frame to be 500 so they're all the way back and then the next thing I did was I set frame 500 to frame zero. And that's really it. You get some cool stuff like this guy's coming over and he's like, whoop, right there. But yeah, that's it. 
Super simple, super cool. It's a nice effect. Anyway, thanks. Bye.